Welcome to Top 5 Inventions from the Industrial Revolution. This video will also list the top 5 inventions we have now and their function in 100 years. Let's get into the video. Alright gamers, so here we have number 5, the Spinning Jenny. The Spinning Jenny was developed and patented by James Hargreaves in 1764. The Spinning Jenny was able to spin wool into yarn which could be used to make fabric. It was able to use 8 spools at once compared to the average person who could only use 1 spool. With further improvement, the spinning jenny went from being able to use 8 spools to 120. By the time Hargreaves had passed away in 1778, there was about 20,000 spinning jennies all over the United Kingdom. Number 4. The Flying Shuttle The Flying Shuttle was patented in 1733 by John Kay. The flying shuttle doubled the production of a worker, therefore allowing the employed to be cut by half and still be effective and efficient. It was used to weave cloth. Number 3. The Photograph The photograph was invented in the 1820s by Nystfor Niepce. He used a light-sensitive chemical which he would put in the paper to capture the image through the lens. Number 2. Food Canning Food canning was very important, and it still is. The tin cans used to be much thicker than they were now. The process of canning food was invented by a French chef named Nicholas Appert. Because of him, we have ways to keep beans fresh. Finally, number one folks, the engine. James Watt provided us with the well-known steam engine, but even better was Nikolaus Otto creating the very first four-cylinder internal combustion engine in 1876. His model of engine changed transport for everyone. Because of him, we have cars. Alright guys, now we're going to get into the top five inventions and products that we have nowadays that will have an impact in the future in a hundred years. Here we go. Alright, now starting at number five, we have the clock. Well, it may seem somewhat simple, but we need a machine like this to be able to keep track of tasks and such that need to be completed. If we didn't have our made up concept, who knows what might happen. Alright, now in number 4, we have the refrigerator. In 1844, the refrigerator was invented, originally being used for providing cool air for yellow fever patients. It has turned into where we keep our perishable resources somewhat fresh, like the steak you had last night for dinner. Alright, now at number 3 we have rockets. Now whether these are rockets sent up to space, or they are used for annihilating inferior countries, that's up to you. But I'm talking about space rockets. Robert Goddard is responsible for inventing the modern day rocket in 1926. Now, even though the USSR made it to space before us, we made it to the moon first on July 20th, 1969, which is a pretty big step. Rockets will help us along the way because, you know, we all want to figure out what's out there in space. Alright, so at number two, the computer and internet. Now the first computer was surprisingly invented in the years between 1833 and 1871. It was called an analytical machine. It basically just stored numbers and added them together and such. We needed these, we need computers in our future because they can be used as a tool for anyone, whether it comes down to adding or writing papers. Alright guys, and now for number one, we have the microwave. Okay, the microwave can heat food so easily and quickly it's almost a necessity nowadays. Percy Spencer invented the first quote unquote primitive microwave in 1946. They used radar waves instead of microwaves. It was called the Radar Range. A Mono Corporation invented the first modern day microwave in 1967. This item has grand potential in the future considering how fast and evenly it cooks food. 